Hi everyone, I'm Holly, a product manager at Figma. So hopefully many of you have already played with it before, but for those of you who haven't, Figma Make is our new tool from Figma. It's the best way to bring your ideas to life with AI-generated code-backed prototypes. With a design and some prompts, you can now create really, really powerful interactive prototypes to speed run your product development process. Today, I'm just gonna be giving an overview of Figma Make and we'll go into a demo together where you can get a sneak peek of some of our latest features. We've already been blown away by a lot of things that you all are creating, and we're continually being shocked and surprised by what our users and our customers are building on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of our favorite examples are this 3D beat tool that one of our friends of Figma, Bruno, created. It's been a massive hit in the office, and we're always playing with it. We're also seeing online that folks are able to build dashboards and just a couple prompts that are really powerful and that they couldn't do before. And one of my personal favorites is one of our designers, Tammy, was able to build an entire 3D world within Figma in a single afternoon. And I've had a lot of fun playing with this personally, myself. But ultimately, Make is there to be a tool for you and your product development flow. So we're seeing customers and users use Make to actually simulate signup flows or other parts of their product, like product pages, web apps, and even building internal tools like design system documentation. There really is no ceiling to how Make can augment and complement what your team needs it to do. While Make is a new technology, we didn't want to reinvent the product development wheel. We already know that you're not usually starting from zero. You're probably starting with a design, an existing concept, or an idea. With Make, because it's from Figma, all you have to do is start with a Figma frame and put it right into the prompt box to get started, and Make will make it come alive. We also know that you have a design system that you've worked really hard to create inside Figma. Today, we already have a feature that allows you to use styles from your libraries in Make. Coming really soon, we're also building out further design system integration, so you can actually use your components inside Make. But I'm also really excited to talk about templates with you all. This is a new feature from Make that allows you to superpower design across your teams. All you need to do is have one person create a really, really amazing Make prototype of your product, publish it to the organization, and now everyone can be riffing off of a really, really high quality base within a matter of seconds. So we'll get into that in the demo. We also want to make Make the best tool for collaboration. And so I'm really excited to announce that we now have the ability for you to copy Make as design layers, meaning that you can take your Make and actually hand it off to designers in Figma design uh, whenever you need. We also know that handoff to developers is a really big part of many of your flows. And so MCP and Make is currently in beta. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the best practices for Make, many of which you all are continually also teaching us. Like I said before, one of the best parts of Make is that it is so easy to get started. All you have to do is paste a design frame into Make. But because you're not just pasting an image, you're actually giving AI your design. One of the kind of best ways to do that is to make sure your design has good hygiene. Auto layout, named layers, not too many redundant groups or frames, and that will just help the model understand your design a little bit more and increase the legibility of it. We also introduced a point and edit tool inside Figma Make. So this will allow you to actually uh, select a div that you want inside your prototype and either prompt Jest to make changes to that targeted area or sometimes even to manually tweak colors and fonts, border radius, and padding. We're also learning so much around how to prompt AI. So composing prompts is a really big part of success with a make prototype. We're finding that constraints are really helpful, being as descriptive as possible, and being sure that you're including all of the requirements you want from your prototype upfront. But also one of the really exciting things about Make is that it can start using real data. And this takes a lot of different forms. You can literally give Make uh, some data right into the prompt box and encourage it to use it. But also once you publish your Makes, it can actually access the hardware of your device. So now you can be building apps that leverage microphones um, or even the camera of your device. Guidelines. So we introduced a guidelines file inside of every single make. You can access this in the code panel. And finally, templates are going to be a super powered ability inside make 
to scale them across your teams and radically reduce the amount of work your teams need to do while increasing the quality of makes overall. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. Our latest launches. By the time you guys are all viewing this, uh, we will have launched two new features. The first is templates. Like I said before, you're almost never going to be going from zero to one. Realistically, in your design processes, you have something that you want to iterate on top of. And so with templates, uh, we're really excited that you'll be able to go from one to 1.1 and then 1.2 and 1.3 within a matter of seconds. We'll get into this in the demo in a little bit, but we'll show how you can go from a really high quality make, publish it as a template, and use that as a super high quality artifact that everyone in your team can use to more quickly iterate and riff on the same concept. So you can go from publish template to infinite riffs, all in a matter of seconds. And then finally, like I mentioned earlier, we're also introducing the ability to copy makes as Figma design layers. And I'll show you how that looks also. So let's get into the demo. Now I'll start with just some basics. As you can see here, I've got a dashboard inside Figma design, and all I have to do is copy this. So I'm gonna command C and go to an empty make file and paste it. And now I can just say, um, build, this dashboard for me, uh, let's say, make sure there are hover interactions and feel free to add uh, data that shows up on hover. Uh, let's see, up when I hover on the charts. Thank you. And now I'll hit send. And so again, for the uninitiated, uh, now Make is actually taking my design and it's starting to reason, think, and then build. Uh, again, because this was a Figma design, you can actually see the, the icon here. I can open this at any time, actually see that this was my, my design. Um, and while this is getting going, I'll just orient folks around a couple different things. I mentioned guidelines at the beginning. So guidelines can be found here in the code panel uh, under this guidelines.md file. So here is where I can add rules uh, specific to how I might want my makes to be operating. While it's you know running right now, I can't add a library, but after it's prompted, this library icon is where I can find some of those library features, like the style context feature um, that allows you to extract styles from your design system. And again, this point and edit tool here is for when I want to add specific prompts um, or make manual kind of direct tweaks to different parts of my make, and I can access that via this. Okay, so while this is running, I wanna just hop ahead a little bit and show you um, how templates might work with something like this. So in the resources tab of your file browser, you can actually find all of the internal templates that have been published to your organization. And so here I can see that actually my colleague Maddie uh, published a radical dashboard, what I was trying to build. So let's open that up. So while this is getting open, you can see here that Maddie has actually built that dashboard. Uh, and in fact, he's spent some time, he's added hover interactions, really cool things like being able to click on courses to surface a quiz. I think I got that wrong, oh gosh. More kind of data when I hover on these charts, drop down on learning time, even the ability to like message with these kind of conversations on the side. So he's built out a really fully featured prototype. And instead of me needing to go back in and recreate this from scratch, I can just go from where Maddie left off. What this means is that I can immediately riff on his template. So let's say I wanna replace the this table at the top. Uh, I can use the point and edit tool and maybe I'll just say like, um, replace this entire table, represent each row as a pie chart showing the progress and have it go off to the races. I'm using the point and edit tool, so I've only given make uh, the ability to look at just this table, and it's gonna reason and start working. Sometimes it might even ask me a question to confirm kind of the scope of its edits, uh, but it looks like in this time, it didn't have any follow-up questions, so it's getting started. The thing I'm really excited about templates is that even internally within Figma, we're using templates as a product management team. 
The PM on the editor team has created a make template for everyone on their team to use. The PM on Buzz has created a Buzz template. And the really awesome thing about this for, for myself is that when we want to prototype really cool interactions uh, that might happen between products, now as the PM on Make, I can easily retrieve the template for Buzz uh, and riff with them uh, and create a, a kind of a buzz and make like prototype without having to recreate uh, the buzz UI myself or really understand all of the buzz interactions that need to be there. Um, in that way, it's a really kind of cool way of standardizing your product in a way that makes it easy for other people to kind of build and riff off of. As you can see here, this actually looks really good. So I asked Make to replace that table with pie charts instead. And so here we have it. Fluid Dynamics is at 63%, Statistics is at 88%, and it maintained all of that behavior from before, right? Now I can still click on them and still get those quizzes that Maddie built into the product, which is awesome. Now let's take a look at some of the other riffs that myself and my team members built before this. So here you can see I've asked to replace the bar chart down here into a streak view, which is really cool. And I did that in a single prompt. Here's another example where I think my coworker Brett asked to replace the conversation down here with a daily goals chart, which is really cool. And it even comes with uh, a kind of filter and drop down, which is awesome. And he did that also in a single prompt. Um, here's another example where uh, we've prompted to include attachments to each of the courses. So if you click attachments, uh, you get this whole flow where you can add attachments, um, hover on them, do all of this. And I just prompted to add a little bit more opacity. So there's more contrast. Really cool. And then this one, it looks like Brett asked to replace that chart down here with uh, a component that recommends a new course based on a user's learning history, which is really awesome. This one is the conversation component. Now we've replaced it with learning streaks. So just uh, another version and riff that we were able to do in just a minute. So lots of different riffs all in a single prompt that all look like our product and behave like our product. This is where our copy make as design layers feature comes really, really handy. So let's go back to this one that I just made, the one with the pie charts. If you see here in the top right, there's this little copy design icon. If I hit it, it says copy as design layers. I will copy this and you can see it working down here. All right, now we've copied design in clipboard. I can go to a Figma design file and paste. So I'm gonna command V, paste, and there it is. Our make was just copied as Figma design layers. So you can see here in the uh, left-hand side, I have all my layers and they're even semantically named. So I can go in here and actually change user research to be like, this is a demo. Cool, amazing. I can go down here. Maybe I'll change the colors of these. Um, cool, maybe I'll make these, I don't know, white. Okay, and you know, the options are endless. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see that I've design snapshotted all of those riffs from earlier. So you can see the one where we had daily goals. You can see the one where we had learning streaks, the one with attachments. And I actually just captured both steps of the attachment flow to show the kind of end-to-end -end user journey there. And this one about uh, a course recommendation. And the really awesome thing is like, now I can just see them side by side. And you can see, you know, my coworker Brett has already been in there dropping comments. He likes daily goals better than the streaks. You know, the attachment right in the modal is clean. We're really, really excited about the ability to go from makes to Figma layers so that you and other designers on your team can both visually see all of your options, but also iterate on them in this format, if that is, you know, what, what you and your team want to do. Uh, and it also just makes, you know, commenting and, and seeing your option space much more clear. So we're really excited about these two new features. Just to summarize, templates means that you can scale a really high quality make prototype across your team in just a matter of seconds. So no one has to recreate the wheel. And now the ability to copy makes as design layers means that you and your team can riff in more places and in more ways.
We're really, really excited to see what you all do with both of these features. So please keep up the comments, keep up the feedback, keep up the suggestions. We cannot wait to see what you all make.